Alright, so what's going on guys? My name's Chopper, and I hope everybody's having an amazing day today. What we're going to be discussing in this video are some PUBG secrets that you absolutely need to know. Now, these are going to be secrets throughout the entirety of the game that I'm pretty sure like 95-99% to 99 of players just are not aware of. We have so much to talk about today regarding secrets of the brand new winter map as well as some settings that are going to help out your gameplay and so much more so stick around to hear all of this and if you guys end up enjoying the video at all a like rating will be very much appreciated let's aim for 4,000 on this video i know you guys could do it that would be awesome also make sure that you are subscribed if you are new to the channel if this is your first video you're ever watching hit that subscribe button for me as we are getting close to 200,000, which is our next goal and be sure to let me know in the comment section at the end of this video how many of these secrets did you end up already knowing maybe you knew none at all maybe you knew all of them make sure you do let me know though with that being said and out of the way though ladies and gentlemen sit back grab a snack grab a drink get ready because we have so much to dive into with these PUBG secrets that everybody needs to know about so without further ado let's get started now the first thing on our list we're going to talk about today is actually the winter map and the name of the playable winter map has it's been out there now it's been leaked now let me go and explain how names work in PUBG before we unveil that so it makes a little bit more sense now every single map name in this game is a made up name right it's fake it doesn't really mean anything they have easter eggs hidden in them for instance brendan green's daughter's name is aaron so that's how we naturally get aaron gill coming in for our first map and miramar and sanok are made up words but they have like kind of little meanings in them if you really want to break them down now we actually have our winter map name already leaked and i'm making sure i mentioned that it's a leak because it's still not 100 confirmed but it's from a reliable source but take it with a grain of salt but the map's name the winter map is called vikendi and I hope I'm saying that right now this is what I kind of wanted to do and challenge you guys is that if you can find any kind of meaning behind the word Vikendi that would be insane and let me know in the comments if you do find anything about it I've done some googling did a little bit of looking around apparently Vikend is a Croatian word but I it doesn't really seem to have a tangible meaning that I could find so I mean if you guys want to do some more digging be sure to let me know if you end up finding anything but apparently Vikendi is the name of the winter map but wait lads that's not it there's more even the mini map has been leaked out there and apparently this is officially what it is right this is no fan made thing this is what the overlay or the mini map of the uh, uh, overview is like now from what we understand and what we're able to gather from this the map is going to be slightly bigger than Sanok, but not quite as big as erangel and i actually think that's a really happy medium erangel can sometimes feel like it's too large of a map i think it's pretty i think it's pretty balanced and Sanok sometimes feels like way too small but if we're able to strike this middle ground between the two with this theme this might be my favorite map of all time an interesting thing to note is that it looks like i was correct in that video i made uh, about uh, two weeks ago regarding the winter map about the frozen lake kind of being a passage cross that you could do over water it looks like near the top of the map that's actually what's going on up there it will be interesting to see how that all plays out but uh coming now into the fall is that we're getting close to this winter map actually releasing and it's nice to have this amount of you know information to work with at this point now coming in today next on our list ladies and gentlemen let's Let's go ahead and address this right now how do i get purple blood in my game i feel like i get asked this almost every day happens a lot on stream and comments and videos and stuff and i figured i'd put it right here to explain for everybody and have it just laid out now the way to get purple blood really is not that difficult and i believe it's available everywhere but there's a certain settings up in your graphics that you're going to want to change called tritonopia it's a colorblind setting and the only really real tangible benefits to putting this on is the fact that all of your reds as far as like red dots the smoke from the package and then obviously play but is going to be purple now why does this matter why does it benefit well it doesn't really do too much however i will say that especially at long distances and in darker areas of the map it's way easier to see if you've tagged somebody or not right sometimes the red blood is it just kind of blends into a darker background and you're not able to tell if you actually hit somebody but with the purple it's a bit brighter it's a lot easier to see it's 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 better to see if other people are being shot in a distance if you see a far away gunfight so i think the the benefits are there but they are marginal right they do they help but not it's not super game breaking also the blue blood option is still available granted it's not nearly as overpowered as it used to be but uh, you can still do it through the korean rating setting you have a lot of options about you know what you want the game to actually look like which i think is a good idea now coming in next on our list is actually an attachment that may come back at some point and it did exist in the game however it was cut very early on i'm sure before any of us were even playing it's like pre 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 alpha days okay so this was a, a, an attachment called an assault stock now it wasn't quite 
quite the same as the tax stock that is you know available in the m4 and the vector and things like that in the game currently it was alongside that but it did something a little bit different and we don't have a lot of details on it because of how early it was cut maybe this helped in the same way just for different weapons or maybe the assault stock did something entirely different but it may come back at some point or another and the reason i believe it may come back at some point is related to the most recent attachment update we got which is the laser sights now there is a laser sight in PUBG. a lot of people are just now finding out about this and i don't think it's super useful to be honest like i don't really run it that often even though that it is in the game right now strictly for a couple reasons number one being that you have to sacrifice a grip slot to be able to put on the laser so on, on things like assault rifles like it's really not worth it to sacrifice a grip ever maybe on smgs like a ump or a vector sure like i can see that happening but uh on assault rifle definitely not so it's not a very popular attachment but the point is it's still in the game now and the laser sight was an attachment that was very early concept for the game that never happened when it first came out and it's just now being added because maybe they got it to a point where it's polished and it's fine-tuned and they're happy with the state of it so they're comfortable putting it in the game maybe that's the same thing with the assault stock but i'm honestly not really sure what e what it like even will really do as compared to the tax stock because i guess they are different but how different functionality can they be i don't really know if you have any ideas about the assault stock do let me know inside of the comment section but uh it's definitely something to keep an eye out for and i'm always down for them adding new attachments to further customize and play with our guns the next secret to discuss is actually two different vehicles that are brand new that are hopefully both coming to the winter map we've already discussed one previously in videos and it's actually been a known secret for a while by a few players this is a truck called the zil 313 and here i'll put up on the screen this is what it looks like you might have seen this in a few of my previous videos it was a truck that was super early concept that they kept saying yes this is going to be added into the game very soon just wait on it it's going to happen but we still haven't seen it ever since we've pretty much known about this since before the release of Miramar if that gives you any kind of scale as to the amount of time we've known about this thing it's crazy but aside from that, right, this truck already looks like it's functional. It's fully texturized already. So I feel like, at least in my opinion, it wouldn't be that hard to uh, implement into the game if they wanted to put it in the winter map. But also, not only that vehicle, but according to the leak, we're getting another one in the winter map, which is supposed to be kind of like the highlight one for that map. And it's going to be a vehicle that's based off of the Volkswagen Beetle. We don't have a name for this one. We don't have a picture or really any textures for it currently. Uh, and again, this one is a leak, so it's not 100%, but it's as reliable as the map name if that turns out to be true this one will likely be true as well now our next secret to discuss is going to help your gameplay a lot and i thought that this would be common knowledge but from what i've able to gather most players don't know about these two things now the vehicle speaking of vehicles that has the most health in the game think about it for a moment all of the vehicles in PUBG, which one is like the beefiest and which one do you think it can soak up the most damage once you have your answer here is the real one you may or may not be surprised because this van is very slow it's kind of like the joke vehicle it's like the meme one the troll vehicle but it actually does i'm not even lying has the most health out of any vehicle currently in the entire game so it can soak up a ton of damage and it honestly makes it worth running sometimes now the next secret is actually a misconception about an attachment in the game that's very common the flash hider is something that i think a lot of people write off on their list they say well the only flash hider thing the only thing it does is eliminate the flash or somewhat reduce it but the suppressor completely eliminates it but and the compensator is going to give me more recoil control so why would i ever run a flash hider but the the flash hider yes does reduce your flash by about i don't know 30 to 40 percent but what it also does that a lot of people don't understand is that it gives you a 10 percent recoil reduction as well which is like a third of a compensator the best way to think about it is have like a suppressor on one end that's like one pillar and then the compensator as the other pillar and then the flash hider is somewhere in the middle and it's that happy medium but uh i think a lot of people will kind of relook at the flash hider as a more useful tool now so quit sleeping on them they're very valuable now ladies and lads coming in today at our last secret to talk about is a new game mode and also a new piece of equipment that are coming to the winter map now there's a new game mode called conquest coming and we don't have all of the details specifically but from what we understand from these people that are talking about it is that it's going to work similarly to domination on a game like call of duty where there's probably going to be like three flags and you're fighting to control them for the most amount of time right so you can go in and kind of be in the vicinity and capture them and then try to defend them and that sounds amazing that sounds like it can be a lot of fun i hope we get 
get some more kind of specific details on that, but we'll have to wait and see. That's not even the juiciest part though. The thing that we're getting in the winter map, as far as like new equipment and toys and stuff, which is what I was kind of complaining about in a previous video, is that C4 is coming to the game. And that actually makes me really excited. Don't believe me? Check this out. This is an official image of the C4 that we have in the game itself, and we don't know exactly all of the details on this specifically, but I'd imagine it's going to work, you know, how you would expect a C4 to work. You lay it down and you can manually detonate it, but uh, I think it's going to come in with the same patch as the Riot Shield that we're supposed to see in PUBG, the one that they showed off at E3. Uh, if I had to guess that these would be added in the same patch, that'll probably all happen at the same time, but it's nice to see that all these things are finally coming together and finally coming to fruition. I'm super Super excited for all of these new things coming in with the winter map and just being added to the game in general we got a rank system and we're getting a lot of these issues that i've had previously addressed in the game now which makes me happy but anyways guys that was a lot to take in i know and uh, hopefully i'm able to keep you updated with everything else if there's more information that comes about these secrets or if there's anything else that i find out about i will make a follow-up video and let you guys know so make sure to subscribe and stick around but i hope you guys did enjoy this one and if you did please make sure to leave a like rating as it does help me out a lot make sure to subscribe of course if you're new to the channel and go and join my discord server if you're not already a member that will be linked down below in the description it's a great way for you to get more involved with my community and make some friends there play games whatever you want to do it's an awesome time but anyways guys that's going to be the video for today thank you all so much for watching once again hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you all on the next live stream or the next video take it easy guys and peace out